Hello, welcome back to Metal Machine Shop. This video is about the misalignment spacers that I've made for my rod end bearings on my Velomobile project. Um, so this is how I made these spacers and why we need them. So here we've got the tilting arm on the Velomobile. It's going to be connected top and bottom with a vertical piece onto which the wheels will be mounted. Uh, the reason we need the misalignment spacers is they go inside the rod end top and bottom uh, and because of the shape of them they allow a greater amount of angular movement of the rod end. Um, so I've got up to about 30 degrees of lean angle here on the Velomobile which I think will be more than enough. This is a standard 8mm rod end bearing and that's the standard 8mm bolt going through it. The problem with these rod end bearings is when you're using the standard size bolts the angle of articulation is fairly limited because of the interference between the bolt and the nut. You can make this better by using special washers um, but what we need for this kind of project is a much greater angle of articulation in the rod end. So here are the misalignment spacers that I've made. This is a 5mm bolt so the size of the bolt diameter is greatly reduced. Um, normally it'd be reduced by 2mm so 8 to 6 for example but I've gone a little bit further and as you can see the angle through which the rod end rotates is significantly increased by using the misalignment spacers. So I've got about 30 degrees of rotation either way. This is a drawing of the misalignment spacers that I'm about to make. On the left the 8mm bore and on the right the 5mm bore. These fit into the 10mm and 8mm rod end bearings respectively. This is what the misalignment spacers look like once I've finished making them. I've made them out of aluminium for this first trial but stainless steel would probably have been a better choice. And here are the tools I'm using on the lathe to make them. A right hand turning and facing tool, a parting off tool and a left hand turning and facing tool. Let's start by reducing the aluminium bar stock to the required diameter. This is a carriage multi-stop that I'll be using to set the carriage X direction. Just tightening the chuck jaws here and get ready to turn the bar down. I'm using cutting oil here to ease the cut. I don't know what grade this aluminium is but it's not cutting particularly freely. It's coming off in ribbons rather than chips which isn't ideal. Probably would be better if I used a specific insert or a, or a high speed steel tool with the required cutting angles on it. Nevertheless this insert still works. So I've turned the first diameter down to size. I'm now going to drill through the bore. I've already drilled a pilot hole using a centre drill. This will drill the bore to the 8mm we need. I probably should be using a slightly slower chuck speed here but since it's aluminium it cuts fairly freely anyway. Lots of nasty ribbons coming off from the drilling. I'm now going to part off the embryonic misalignment spacer. I'm setting the carriage stop to put the parting off tool in the right place so I can repeat this for the remaining pieces that will follow. Carefully but firmly applying the feed. I'm using lots of cutting oil as you normally would for parting off. You need to keep the parting tool advancing steadily through the work. Here I'm deburring the edges with a file. Quite a lot of people would say you shouldn't do this in the lathe, but I've never had any problems. I'm using a little piece of steel bar to catch the piece as it comes off. This is a chamfering tool for my deburring set. I'm just going to lightly deburr the inside edge and apply a little bit of a chamfer using this tool. I wouldn't normally use this tool in the lathe but for slow speeds on soft materials like aluminium it would be perfectly alright. This is the first stage of the misalignment spaces complete. 
Here I'm making a stub mandrel in the lathe to hold the pieces for further machining work. I'm setting the angle of the top slides to achieve these bevels in the final piece of work. So here I'm putting the misalignment spacer into the stub mandrel or the arbor, tightening it up using a small cap screw. And I'm about to machine the angled features in the outer end of the part. I've set the tool to cut the two angles at once, left and right. Just taking it down to final diameter first. And a little bit more cutting oil. And I can slowly and steadily machine the angled features. This V-shaped groove is what gives the misalignment space of the clearance and allows the rod ends to angle more freely than they otherwise would. So that's the first one complete. Just undoing the cap screw to remove it from the arbor, or the mandrel. And here we have a full set of the 8mm and 10mm misalignment spaces complete. And here's the final demonstration of the difference it makes with and without the misalignment spaces on the angle which the rod end will rotate through. So that's how I did it for my particular project. You can buy these things but um, if you can make them you save yourself a pile of money. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this and got something useful from it and as ever please don't forget to like, subscribe and leave any comments in the comment section down below. Thank you.